in this video we are going to discuss about how to raise an exception in python programming we know that try block contains a set of statements that may cause an exception whenever an exception occurred in the try block then that exception will be thrown implicitly by the interpreter to the except block so here we have try block uh, let uh, a value is 10 b value is 0 next let we have a try block so let the statement is like this print of a comma b next except block contains some statements so print of exception occurred so here in the try block we have print of a comma b what is a value 10 what is b value 0 so this is nothing but an exception statement 0 division by error so whenever an exception occurred in the try block then that exception will be thrown through to the except block so that is to be done implicitly by the python interpreter here we are not throwing the exception it is the responsibility of the python interpreter to throw the exception to the except block in this concept we are discussing about a rise keyword the purpose of the rise keyword is by using rise keyword we can rise an exception we can throw an exception from the try to the except block so if we want we can raise an exception and that exception will be thrown explicitly to the except block by using the rise keyword. The syntax of the rise keyword is like this. Rise, we have to specify the exception class name. So which exception you need to throw. So the class name should be specified. Here we have to use the predefined exception classes built-in exception classes we know that all the classes are derived from the class exception so exception is the base class for all the built-in exception classes we have several built-in exception classes like zero division by error index error attribute error name error type error value error accession error likewise several built-in exceptions are there here we need to specify one of the exception class it may be the base class exception or uh, any other uh, built-in exception class name. Now let us see an example for this. So what is the purpose of the rise keyword? The name itself specifies the meaning. Rise keyword rises an exception. So whenever that is executed, then the control will be transferred to the corresponding except block. Let us see an example for this. Uh, let a is equal to 10 b is equal to 0 next here we have try block so within the try block let us check some condition if b double is equal to 0 so if b double is equal to 0 then it is what division by error so this program is demonstrating rise keyword so whenever b is equal to 0 then with the help of the rise keyword throw the exception so the syntax is like this arise exception class name exception class name so what is the exception class name zero division error so here this class name should be predefined class name it may be either exception or uh, any other built-in exception class so zero division error zero division error so whenever this statement is so what is the purpose of this statement rise keyword rises this exception so this exception will be thrown to the except block with the class name zero division error so let us uh, have zero division error exception so except zero division error zero division error let us display some message so print off so what is uh, why this exception occurred divided by zero why because here the denominator is zero so that's why we got this exception so let us see the program execution so try if b double is equal to zero in this program b is zero only 
सो दिस स्टेटमेंट गॉट एग्जीक्यूटेड राइज जीरो डिविजन एर रेर सो राइज की वर्ड राइजेस दिस एक्सेप्शन सो नाउ द कंट्रोल विल बी ट्रांसफर टू द एक्सेप्ट ब्लॉक विच द क्लास जीरो डिविजन एर रेर सो दिस इज दट क्लास दिस इज दट एक्सेप्ट ब्लॉक ओके सो हियर वॉट इज द मैसेज डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो सो दिस मैसेज विल बी प्रिंटेड सो इफ यू वॉन्ट हियर राइज जीरो डिविजन एर रेर so for space constraints uh, uh, let uh, i am writing here uh, rise rise what is the name of the class zero division error within the curly braces we can provide the message so what is the message divided by zero divided by zero here when we are providing the message then we have to specify as e as e so except zero division error this is the class name as e so if b double is equal to zero so b value is zero so condition is true so rise keyword uh, rises the exception so what is the name of the exception zero division error and here what is the what is the argument here divided by zero now the control will be transferred to the except block with the class name zero division error and this message is divided by zero that message will be stored in e now we have to display e print e now we have to display e so if you display e then what will happen this message will gets printed divided by 0 so likewise also you can pass okay if you don't know the exception class name the simply we can pass exception exception is the base class from which all the uh, built in classes are derived so except so what is the name of the class exception except exception as e so raise exception now the control goes to the ex exception class now the control goes to the except block with the class name exception so divide by 0 that message will be stored in e so print of e means that message will be printed okay so likewise uh, you can write uh, n number of programs okay or directly also we can uh, uh, raise the exception try so raise Rise. Uh, let the message is index error. Rise index error. So let us have index block. Let us have except block. Except. So what is the class here? Index error. Index error. Let us display some message. Print of index is out of range. Index is out of range. So without checking the condition also, you can raise the exception. So try block. Rise index error. So now the control goes to the except block. with the class name index error okay so what is the message here index is out of range so this message will gets printed or uh, uh, let let us take an example uh, let uh, we are reading some mocks so mocks is equal to let us read some mocks mocks is equal to int of input of enter box here let the subject uh, let the subject uh, maximum mocks is 100 so we have to enter a number from 0 to 100 so if the number is either less than 0 or greater than 100 then we have to throw the exception whereas if the number is in between 0 to 100 then display the mocks that is our target here okay here just uh, we needed some mocks uh, next uh, within the try block let us display let us have the condition if mocks is less than 0 or greater than 100 then we have to raise the exception if mox is less than 0 or uh, uh, mox is greater than 100 then raise the exception so which exception we have to throw here directly throw the exception class okay so raise predefined uh, base class name so raise exception okay next uh, uh, if mo if this condition is false then display the mox so print of mox print of mox except 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 exception yes ye uh, here we didn't pass any argument so directly print the message so except print of mox should be between 0 to 100 mox should be between 0 to 100 so let us see the program execution mox is equal to int of input of let the mox is 90 
So if box less than 0, so 90 less than 0, false. 90 greater than 100, false. So both the conditions are false. So R means if both are false, the entire expression is false. So control comes out from the if. So print of box. So 90 will be printed. Here there is no exception. Okay. No exception is raised in the try block. So this except block won't get executed. So let the mox is minus 90. Let the mox is sum bar. Instead of 100, let the student got 110 mox. Okay. Uh, if mox is less than 0, 110 is less than 0. False. 110 is greater than 100. 110 is greater than 100. So that condition is true. So one condition is true. So the entire expression is true. So this if block will get executed. Rise exception. So now the control will go to the except block. Okay. So here this message will get printed. Mocks should be between 0 to 100. So this in this way we can uh, rise as an exception. Now let's see the practical implementation. Now let's see the practical implementation. So let A is equal to 10. B is equal to 0. Try print of A by B. Now let us have the accept block. Accept display sub message. So print off. So what is this? Uh, uh, this is what? D divided by 0. Divided by 0 exception. So divided by 0. Control S. Let us save the program. Uh, let the name of the program is uh, rise. R-A-I. Save it. And run it. So here a print of a by b. Here the denominator is 0. So here there is an exception. So whenever there is an exception in the try block, then python interpreter rises the exception. So that exception will be thrown to the except block. Okay. So that will be done implicitly by the python interpreter only. Divided by 0. So we got that message. If we want, we can throw the exception explicitly. So that is done by rise keyboard. If b double is equal to 0, if b double is equal to 0, then rise the exception. So exception is raised by using rise keyword, rise. Next, specify the name of the exception. So here, what is the name of the exception? Here, exception should be predefined one, predefined uh, exception, built-in exception class. Here, we are throwing zero division error. So accept, accept. So here, let us have zero division error, zero division error, control S. So here, B value is zero. So now, rise keyword rises this exception. So this exception will be thrown to this accept block. So zero division error, In zero division error accept block. What is the message? Divide by zero. So this message will be displayed now. So F5, so divide by zero. So this message got printed. So if we want, what we can do is, so in this argument, we can provide the message. So divided by zero. So this is one way. Another way of uh, uh, writing the predefined class argument. And now, here we need to specify as e. As e. Display print of e. So whenever this statement is executed, now this divided by 0, that message will be stored in e. So print of e means that message will gets displayed divided by 0. Now we got divided by 0 as the output. So in this way we can throw an uh, uh, exception. We can throw the exception. So try if you want. Uh, uh, we can throw the exception uh, without checking the condition also. So try rise rise. Uh, let it is attribute error. Let the exception is attribute error. So try attribute error. If you don't know uh, the type of the exception, we can write exception also. This exception class can handle any type of exception. Now we will get message yes. Yeah, here uh, when we are providing yes ye, then we have to provide some message in the argument. Ye attribute not found. Ye attribute not found. Now that message will be stored in e and it will be printed. Ye attribute not found. So we got output as yes, attribute not found. Okay. 
now let us see another example now let us see one more program so mox is equal to let the mox is 90 so within the try block let us check the condition if mox value is either less than 0 or if mox is either greater than 100 then raise the exception raise exception otherwise display the mox display the mox so mox next accept handle that exception accept so print off so mox should be between 0 to 100 here there is no exception so there is no problem so we will get message as 90 90 uh, initiate of 90 let us assume that we entered 110 now there is an exception so we will get message as uh, 0 to 100 mocks should be between 0 to 100 so in this way we can raise an exception by using the raise